Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a super long time since I've made a video and I'm sorry for that. It's just I'm working full time now and I just find that it's really hard to find time to make a video and work and do everything else that I need to do. But with all that being said, I'm glad to be on here. I hope you're well, I've missed you all. And today's video is just gonna be a quick video on how to use a Marcel curling iron to curl your hair. And the idea came from Marnie, Miss Gold Girl. I was in San Antonio last weekend for a work convention and we all, we got together. So I got to meet Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, and Erin of Busby Style. They're both over 40, make YouTube videos. I'm sure you're subscribed to them. If you're not, I'll put their channels below. They're wonderful. And they are as gorgeous on the outside as they are on the inside. And even meeting them in person, they are more beautiful in person and they've just got wonderful personalities. So it was a lot of fun. Anyway, we were at dinner and Marnie was like, how, you know, what are you doing to curl your hair lately? And I told her I was using a Marcel iron and I was trying to explain it. And I think she knew what it was, but anyway. So this is what I'm gonna be using in the video. It's a Marcel iron. And I just find that it really holds the curl in my hair. It's easy to use once you get the hang of it. And so anyway, in this video, it ends up that I kind of get cut off because my timer tells me that I only have a minute left. But anyway, I thought I would get something up here so that you could see that I'm still around. And um, anyway, so here's the video. This is what it is. It's a Marcel iron, which it looks just like a, um, a regular curling iron, except for there, there's, no, there's a clamp, but there's no spring. So if you, let's see if I can figure out a way to, it just, it falls. So that's what a Marcel curling iron is, and also this turns. So anyway, what I thought I would do today is just do, show you how I do it. I'm not an expert in this thing because I am, even though I work in the, in the hair industry, I'm not a licensed stylist. So I'm probably going to show you kind of the wrong way, but it works for me, and I can do my whole head really quickly. This one is by Hot Tools, and I think it is one and a half inches. So it's old. You'll see like some stains on there and that type of thing. But And I've got it set right now to, it goes up to 430 degrees, but I have it set on 380. With any Hot Tool, you just want to be careful that you put the heat low enough to do what you need it to do but not too high where it's going to burn it and so that's just kind of through trial and trial and error if you've got coarse hair you can go higher if you have fine hair you want to go a little bit lower so for me i've got pretty coarse hair but i find what works is about 380 for me um, so the first thing is with this what i do is i god this is gonna be hard um, i put my pinky under here so that I'm grabbing this part with my three fingers so that I can kind of open and close this with my pinky and this is going to take some practice if you haven't mastered a curling iron yet this is going to be really hard to do but anyway so you kind of control it with your um, like this with your three fingers and your pinky being under here I would try to show you better but I already turned it on and I'm afraid I'm gonna burn myself so uh, but let me just show you like how quick and easy it is. Um, so the first thing that I do, what I always do, is section my hair. And just to let you know, I just washed my hair. Um, many people ask if I use a heat protectant. I use It's a 10, so I did that right after I got out of the shower. I blew my hair dry, um, so I didn't straighten it all the way, but you know enough to where it's smooth because I have naturally kind of curly hair. So the first thing that I always do is just section my hair. And today I'm just going to do two sections. I'm going to use this thing. I've had this thing for probably 12, 10 years. Um, it's just a little, you can do French twists with it, whatever you want. And it holds it really well. Okay, so you're going to get the section that you want. This is probably, I don't know, one and a half inch section. And then the more hair that you have, the looser the wave, the smaller amount of hair, the tighter the curl will be. Um, so what you're going to do is just open, open it using your pinky and these three fingers. And this is where I don't do it right. The professional stylist, they can do it all with one hand. I've got to use two hands with mine. So I'm going to put it in, in the middle, and then just start turning it. 
Um, and I was going to leave some of the ends out, but it looks like I went a little too far. And then you can just release it and you get that nice curl. I wanted to keep the ends out. I think on the next one I'll do that so you can see what that looks like. But I'm telling you, these curls stay. Um, so again, and I'm, real, I'm going back. Put the hair in, turn. This one I'm leaving more of the ends out. Maybe count to one, two, three, and just roll it out. Um, that one worked a little bit better. What I like about this iron is that, see how this one has, if you can see, has um, curls starting higher? Let's say I want to go back and retouch this one. I can just stick it in and just, you know, leave the part of the hair that was already out, out, so that I can get the curl higher, so that the curl's not just at the end. So let me show you again on another piece of hair. I'm grabbing a little more hair. I've got a little tiny mirror over here. Again, just leaving the ends out. And maybe, I mean, you don't have to do it long. And then there's the other curl. So I did three on that side. Let's see if I can do, I'll do one more back here. And again, I use two hands, which Anyway, this is probably not going to be the best one to learn how to do it, but I just wanted to show you what I use. So that's one half of my head, and then I will go to the other side. Same thing, open it up, and I'm rolling everything back, leaving the, the tail of it out. And what I love about this is you don't have to hold your hair in there for very long at all. Um, and I feel like these curls last a super long time. And I can go two days with these also. So now I'm going a little bit faster. My um, timer is blinking that it looks like the video is full, but I'm not sure why. Because I haven't done a video in forever. It can't be full. So there you have that bottom row. And then what I usually do is just clip that back because I don't want to curl what I've already curled. And then do the top section. Um, and I usually just start in the back. And same thing, put it in there. And again, I have to kind of roll with two hands because I have not mastered the one hand. Again, all this row is going, going back as well. You can brush through your hair sections, or if you want a little messier, you can just do it with your fingers like I am. I think it looks kind of cool to leave the ends out because then you have that kind of messy, tousled look. If you don't like that look, then curl the ends in. It's all up to you. But I will say, I don't know how long this has taken me on this um, video, but I can probably curl my whole head in like five minutes really, really fast. And yeah, it says that the timer is running out in two minutes, so let's see what I can get done. Um, again, all these pieces are going back. So if you do try this, I'll try to find a link to one. I think I bought mine on Amazon. You can probably get them at Ulta. Um, it just takes practice. As with anything, it's going to take practice. And then what I like about this is like what I did earlier. If you get a curl where you don't want it um, or it's too low, you can go back in. And this one's easier to put curls in up top. So there's that half. And then I have this half. Hopefully I can make it. It says one minute. Uh, maybe I'll speed it up. Like, just not leave it in. Oh my gosh, now it says 53 seconds. This is crazy. Anyway, I hope you all have been doing well. I'm going to try to get on and make another video where I can talk to you. I'm going to curl this just so you can kind of see. 
but you can be messy and it still like looks good to me. And I've missed a few pieces here. It's not perfect, but you get the gist. And um, and then you can just kind of move it around. You know, here it doesn't look that curled. You can go back in, just put a few more curls in there. And then I would just spray it with my um, Redken Quick Dry 18. You can pull these out if it's too curly or just let it go. So anyway, that is how I've been curling my hair. I hope y'all are doing well. I miss you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. If you still are subscribed, I really appreciate it. I hope to do videos whenever I can, and I hope you understand it's just hard working and making videos. So I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.